Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Corey Full of Automotive once again. In today's video, let's take an up close and personal in depth look at the all new 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee Diesel 4x4. And this is giving me a detailed in depth review of the Grand Cherokee. We'll start up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip, and go for the performance data, as we'll show a bunch of the unique aspects of the interior as well as exterior. And I'd like to thank Northway Chrysler, located in New Liskard, Ontario, for allowing me to come up and film the all-new 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee Diesel 4x4. And so, without further ado, let's go and start it up, let it run. As you can see, the Grand Cherokee diesel does come standard with remote start. Now, as you expect, the new Grand Cherokee does come equipped with the integrated smart key access system. All you have to do is keep the key fob in your pocket, and you're able to lock and unlock the vehicle by using the buttons and vehicle's touch sensors. To lock, just tap the button once, and not to wait in a second, just grab behind the handle, and it automatically unlocks the vehicle. The exterior color is white metallic, featuring a full black leather interior with Alcantara accenting. And along with that smart key system, as you expect, the new Grand Cherokee diesel also features a standard remote push button ignition. All you have to do is put your foot on the brake and hit the button on the dash to start. Powerful startup. Jeep Grand Cherokee does come equipped with the electric assist, speed compartional mechanical rack and pinion setup, and it has a unique three-spoke leather wrapped steering wheel with some polished accents come across the airbag cover, with color accent stitching right here to give it increased quality, and you also have the multifunction controls on the steering wheel as well. Now, as far as the gearbox, it's a 8-speed automatic gearbox like in a traditional electric car. This one's a column-mounted rotary gear selector. To put the vehicle in drive, just hold down this Chromax setting button and tilt the shifter backwards, and half a click back for neutral, and all the way back is reverse. To put it in park, just hold down this Chromax setting button again and tilt it frontwards. And there you go. And then once you put the vehicle in reverse, your backup camera automatically appears with guidance lines. There you go. And so... We're going to flip on the automatic optional projector xenon headlamps, fog lamps, as well as the hazards. Both windows are fully automatic as standard. And let's go check out the exterior. We're going to pop open the hood. See, it's very easy to do. It's a Jeep diesel engine. Sounds sweet. You also have a uh, block heater inside it, and the pistons might be down there as well. Your windshield washer here. And there you have it. And now let's go see how it sounds. Hood is open. Sounds like the Duramax diesel on the Chevrolet GM trucks. I think it's got one of these 25,000 RPM red line. You want to close the hood? Take your motor shot. Yep. We're going to go back inside the truck. We're going to shut her up. Fan controls here fan. A 
Wait a minute. I thought it was on for a second. I forgot to turn on turn up the volume. You also have a touch screen here. And I'm gonna show you something. You also have the, the pedal shifters here. When you put the vehicle in drive, sorry about that, you also have your pedal shifters here. You also have manual mode, automatic manual gearbox. Right here, press the plus and minus, and there you go. And I'm going to show you the voice commands right now. Look at it on the steering wheel. We're going to press it. Help. Say the station you want to listen to. For example, say tune to 95.7 FM. Or to listen to a preset station, say something like tune to preset 5. You can interrupt this help message by pressing the voice button. To play music, say things like change source to iPod or change source to Bluetooth. You can also say things like, show Major League Baseball headlines, or show five-day forecast. You can also say things like, find address, 100 Main Street, Detroit, Michigan, or find state, or find nearby gas stations. To exit voice, say cancel. To go back to the previous step, say go back to... Wait a minute. I just pressed the button again to exit. However, It'll walk you through everything on voice commands. Not say that speed was the cause of the incident. The Here's your touch screen here, and I'm going to show you that right now. Here's media here. You also have navigation screen, view map, if you want. You can scroll. Go back. And you also have, um, you can pair a phone. No, no phone pair. Go to settings if you want. Or go to clock. You can give confirmation to the... And I'm going to show you something pretty cool when I get outside. What? Alrighty. We're going to go and shut her down. And we're going to go check the back seat. This is pretty cool. You can see that driver's seat. And here's your uh, your your outlet here. You plug it into that something. Sure is nice. Dude. Yeah. Here's your power outlet down. Mm -hmm. You plug in there. Okay, you ready to show that? Yep. And now I'm gonna show you how the tailgate works. To open it, you just have to hit the button twice. It opens. Let's see. There you go. You can also carry your groceries or your spare tires if you want, in case you have a flat tire. As you notice, there's a button located here. To close it, it doesn't have to open that. You're just pressing this, this button once, it will close the lift gate only. Step back. There you go. There you have it. We're just going to have to continue the video with the engine running. And I'm going to show you the multifunction controls here. If you press the up and down arrows, this happens. Trip odometer, trip B, audio. Th that's technology. And here's screen setup, speedometer. You can change this function here by using the left and right buttons. Down arrow and um, tire pressure, all terrain and fuel economy. There you have it. And now I'm going to show you something pretty cool. It's got one of these controls here. It's a sunroof. To open the sunroof, you just kind of hit this, hold down this up button, auto, and it opens it. To uh, 
to open this side, you just gotta hold down the button again and hold down this button here. And there you have it. And there you go. And now I'm going to show you the turn signals and windshield wipers work. Here's the left and right windshield wiper, so I'm going to show that right now. You turn left, right. You can turn it this way if you want. Sorry about that. Here's the windshield wiper controls here. Turn it uh, low or high mode if you want. There you go. Already. We're going to go and power it off. There you go. Same smart key system on the driver's side door. All you have to do is keep the key fob in your pocket. By using the buttons and vehicle's touch sensors, like I said on the driver's side, to lock, just do the same thing. Grab behind the handle. There's a vehicle's touch sensor located behind this one. There you go. Here's the passenger side. Look at this one. Here's your glove box. Here's a user guide and your paperwork. And there you go. Sorry about that. Here's this function here. This happens if you press that. You also have your uh, auxiliary input and S, you know, I mean SD card and your 12 volt power outlet and your USB port. And there you go. And now I'm going to show you how the remote start works. You just got to make sure your vehicle is locked and hold down the button twice. There you go. And I'm going to show you. You just got to unlock the vehicle by using the vehicle's touch sensors or by using this touch sensitive pad. Unlock it. Go in your vehicle and you just put your uh, key fob here and then you just um, hold down this button. There you go. I'm going to shut it down. There you go. And I'm going to show you the different controls here. Here's your 4x4 switch. It says low. It says to complete. 4 wheel drive switch. Just put the shift to neutral. And then here's that, uh, that cruise control thing here. And then, here's your up thing here. Go up. And down to park. There you go. Here's your, uh, your uh, functions here. Select to sand mode. Snow mode. Or to neutral. Mud or a rock. Every time you turn this, sand mode, snow, you won't get stuck. And mud mode, rock, there you go. There you go. There we go. We're going to cut it off. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoy the in-depth look at the all-new 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee 4x4 diesel. Be sure to stay tuned next time. Here's a lot more where it came from. Take care, everybody.